In today's Clean With Me video, we are cleaning out the pit of despair, otherwise known as Melina's toy area. But don't worry, I have a few tricks up my sleeve that'll make this process much, much easier and a whole lot less painful than it looks like it's about to be. Okay, not really, that's a total lie. Cleaning up Melina's toys is a personal struggle for me. I'm actually a naturally neat and somewhat obsessively organized person, and Melina hasn't quite honed and developed that skill just yet. I'll tell you, this area is actually a much larger disaster than normal. One of the ways that I clean is by moving things to the area that they belong first. And usually that happens in a sort of dump style. So I grab stuff from different locations in the house and I kind of dump them in the room that they're supposed to be in. And then I put each room away once the dump is like fully piled. So just before I started filming, I did a grab and dump and I dumped all the toys that were all over the living room and all over the rest of the house and the kitchen and everywhere else into a pile and corralled them here. So don't, don't think that Melina left this much of a mess. So having this basket down here actually makes taking stuff up to her bedroom so much easier because as I see things laying around that I know need to go to her bedroom, I just throw them in that basket. So the first thing I do is I survey the toys and see what is the easiest to put away first. For me in this particular scenario, that seemed to be the American Girl doll stuff. And I will tell you, this is the one area that Melina actually takes impeccable care of her stuff. Her American Girl dolls are her children and she cares for them like a mother cares for her child. And in fact, her dolls were having a picnic in the middle of the living room and I picked them up and tossed them in this pile. So blame me for, for not treating the American Girl dolls appropriately because it definitely was not Melina. <laughs> Load number one of the American Bat Girl doll stuff is going up to her room. And yes, I actually did put it away as I took it out of the basket. Her bedroom's fairly clean and organized right now, so we wanna keep it that way. After that was done, I started pulling uh, out things that were obvious and putting them into piles. And each pile actually has its own bin. And I've actually done this so many times that I know exactly what is in each bin. So sorting the toys is actually really easy. There's a Barbie bin, a Play-Doh bin, a baby bin, a necklace making bin, an action figure bin, a Lego bin. Yeah, you get the picture. I know my bins. <laughs> The brown chair off to the right is the table where we actually keep Melina's computer. That table generally stays pretty clean except for one thing, dog hair. Because of the air movement pathways in that room, that corner is where all the dog hair seems to gather. And it doesn't help that Bill or Billio, as Mauricio and Melina call him, Bill's our Swiss Shepherd. He sheds more than any other dog that I have ever possibly met. I mean, giant clumps of hair falls off of him. It's actually really gross. 
but we love him in spite of us shedding. The things that are too big to fit in the bins in the cubbies actually go on top of the cubbies or on this end table and they just get stacked there. And off I go to pick up Melina from school and we'll finish up this project together. Once all the toys are picked up and put away, it is time to vacuum. And once we are done vacuuming, it's time to dust things off because, have I mentioned the dog hair? <laughs> The last thing we are doing is we are cleaning the paint off of this table. Melina has an affinity for painting tables. Whenever she paints, she paints like around the edges. She likes to paint all the way up to the edges of her paintings. And so she frequently paints the table as well. And then sometimes paint gets spilled, but it's all washable Crayola paint. So it comes right off. So we just dump some Windex on it and Melina and I scrub until it's all clean again. And then we are done. And I feel so much better when this this area is clean. In our house in Mexico, we actually had cabinets for the bigger toys. And I truthfully love that even more because I just like a neat, clean area. But for now, this is going to have to do. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Route.